Ben, it's an honor for me to be here. I've brought my son. Where is he? Here. Look at him. Well, I want to talk to you about four topics. Uh, first, father-son, later on, uh, sexuality and uh, your ability to embody your male force, uh, physical energy, energy in your soul and mind. And also, as happens to be with me, there will be also some room for uh, humoristic for funny things. We will also do physical exercise because I cannot only give lectures. Finally, it's also about your vocation. What does man do on this earth uh, living not only in the White House? What else can we do? What uh, we, uh, uh, the, the, the movement, uh, as Fr San Francisco Chronicle recently put, uh, even in uh, California, in Australia, we have people in, we do not want to be subject to financial machinery, but a living man in Tega who has got balls, who, who, will, who will never give up uh, his uh, courage and male vigor to anybody. But he is enough dignified to say whenever he has committed a mistake, uh, saying, I am sorry. When my son Paul was born on the 14th of August 1998, my then wife said after 10, 12 years of laboring, she said, I want to die. I can no longer. And the midwife said, Frank, you've got to, to arrive. Frank, whenever uh, there is a, your head was just one third, I place my hands on your head. Uh, then, then you were among my arms, and I hugged you, and that's why I will always love you in all your precious uniqueness, my dear son. That's my approach. Every, uh, every human be being, every human life is sacred. Uh, Every man, woman, uh, of course, every man as a loving man. When I started with men's work, uh, just the Berlin Wall had came down. Uh, John Bellici, we did box. Uh, then we jumped for the parishes when the fire rays, uh, dark retreats. I have done the whole thing three times up and down. The, the, but the basics, the bottom line is uh, the center. You need to be centered. You need to be also really oriented. Uh, please, I invite you cordially to get up to your feet. And now, look at me. With the first uh, breath, everything starts. Uh, the mother was uh, desperate, and uh, two minutes uh, later, she was happy. Now, please uh, lift your hands to your ears height. Inspire, breathe in through the nose. You get the force from the cosmos. Then you breathe out th through the mouth. Just another one and a last one. Now place your hands on your physical front on your chest. Uh, since this, uh, it's always in my work about unifying body, emotion, mind, and soul. Earth, water, fire and air. What was the most beautiful experience you've had so far? What really gave you the, the creeps? What uh, strengthens you? What has uh, sunk deep into yourself? What has really touched you in your heart and in your soul? 
feel into this beside intellect and this one has written that book and that approach and knowledgeability what really touched you at the core of your inner being what's the fire that is burning there what has been so far the most important thing here then delve into this uh, get centered inside this uh, breath uh, let your uh, mind rest and also your soul, whatever you feel. It's what are you learning here? Not yet another theoretical approach, n let alone my approach. It's your force, your love. You are the man of your life. Uh, that's what I mean also. You are an original. So stand for yet another moment in all the good things that uh, have been been given to you by those wonderful men that are standing here. Thank you for that. Uh, sense the joy that we m as men can go another way, yet uh, rather than yet another war, yet, yet another s submission. Men that can provide the most uh, delicate, the most uh, fragile one, which uh, uh, also implies uh, a pardon. We do not belong to any dogma ideology. We belong to love, to life. Men of all age groups. I have seen thousands of all. Uh, we have done everything, lingus, mashas, animal massage. It's always about the soul. It's always about the soul and heart of the man so that he finds uh, this positive a uh, living and vital principle and also can say no to the whining and grinding of the patriarchy, no longer submission, at, uh, no longer divide et impera. Now, we are creating a men's movement that has broad wings, a large span, and has enough dignity. We were all born from a woman. We need the female and the male, the male and the female. Nice, my brother. I'm talking to you as a brother, not as a teacher. I have committed thousands of mistakes, which made me humble. Now turn to your neighbor. Julius, could you please come forward by my side? Please turn to your neighbor so that everybody has a neighbor. Rest one hand on his heart, and he will rest one hand on your heart. So look at this. We will start out right away. Is that OK? So, men, this is your partner for a short exercise. Thank you for honoring him, for touching his heart. Now move around. No problem in Karlsruhe. When we uh, <laughs> occupied uh, houses, we rioted quite often. Yafata. I am you, uh, one with the holy force of life. Ya fata. The exercise is not yet over. So with one voice, one man, one voice, one earth, please look into his eyes. Uh, unfold your wings uh, and... Uh, yeah!
nimm ihn einen Moment in den Arm, nimm ihn fest in den Arm. Your brother. Ja. So Männer, großartig. Wir machen immer wieder kleine Übungen nachher. Setz dich gerne einen Moment. Take your seats. We are going to do some other exercises. Look at me. I'm talking to you. Every now and then we will also do some exercises. I'm talking to you as your brother. I have completed uh, so many training courses uh, that I could even buy a family house. But I want, I'm learning. I want you to learn from the wisdom hell, the world, word hell. How many young generations have been terrorized by such um, terms like hell, purgatory, or real? Hell was a part of the kingdom of Judea. Uh, hell, that was uh, those who had not enough drachmas and shekel were uh, rested. And in the night, the uh, hyenas and shekels came and ate them. And our merciful dogmatics in the churches made this into a frightening building. That's uh, the most important thing. That's why we need to learn to master our spirit. Your sp soul goes into your uh, spirit, and what you think goes into your body. The old practices of uh, spirit and body. If you master your spirits, you can heal your body. As a dogma, when all, all patriarchal religions, among them is also Buddhism and uh, Uh, Buddhism, or, and I, even Christianity, although Jesus is um, the most important teacher for me, the man became a, a, an animal driven by carnal lust, and uh, the woman became either whore or saint. Uh, the Bible starts with, in the beginning, there was the word. Uh, so the idea, yes, of course, we do all the physical exam. We do want to have sex, uh, everybody. But we need to master our spirit, peace, uh, center, home and love for the earth and for our brethren, not uh, exemster or red pawn tube, otherwise they will go my way. No, a uh, man must learn how to be centered. Our spirit belongs to us, not to the advertising industry, to the destructive ideas. No, my spirit belongs to love. I am a disciple of love. Als ich nach meinem Studium And after I studied, I started working with people in 1989, in 1998, sorry, and everybody said, you know, nobody's going to care about that. But today, decades later, more than 20,000 people have come to me overall. And I can see that what we are doing here, working on our, working to enhance our in inner love and strength. That's the most precious thing that we have as human beings. Now let's turn back to the spirit. A thought, an idea, first and foremost consists of electrons. Electrons are indestructible, as modern physics have taught us. And one such thought is the idea of Jesus. You are the light of the world. This idea is still available. Our Buddha's sentence, your Buddha nature, your Buddhist nature is already embodied. All of this is there forever. So everything comes from the spirit. I've worked with bodies. I do body work and I love it endlessly. endlessly. But I have noticed that the body, the mind, the feelings and the soul have to get together. That's the purpose of good work. A lecture alone is not enough. We need all these four elements, these four forces. The body is connected to the uh, soil. The feeling to the is feelings are, or emotions are connected to the holy rivers of this world. And many people really had to throw up when they saw the photo recently of a whale, a whalefish, who died because he had swallowed such a lot of plastics. And Britta Thunberg and the other young people show us that we really have to fight against that. 
eight years after I was born, the CIPRI Institute was founded in Stockholm, you know, this peace institute. And this morning when I prepared for this, um, I read that last year 1.8 billion euros were invested, sorry, 1.8 trillion euros were invested for weapons in uh, all around the world. And who are the main soldiers at the forefront? It's us. So we have to stop. We have to say, no, we are no longer available for this. We should not just talk peacefully, but where we are living, in our context, we should say, stop. Now, when I talk of the spirit, what do I mean? A normal neurotic man like you and me? Well, we have about 60,000 thoughts every day, 60,000, and only 3% of these thoughts are constructive or loving. Come here, come here, what's your name? Tobias. Okay, Tobias, I'm Frank. It's an honor to have you here. You are my brother. May I hug you? Well, of course. Diese Menschenliebe uns von niemand Now, this love of fellow men, that's important, and that's only 3% of our thoughts. And only 3% of our thoughts do we say, hey, I want to see who you are. I don't want to see your mistakes, your flaws, but I want to see who you really are. And the re remaining 97% of our thoughts are total nonsense, things that we've thought about for many, many years already. So 50% of the thoughts are really uh, superfluous, and 47% of the thoughts are totally negative, and only 3% are positive. And before we start to... Uh, convert that, to change that, it won't have any impact. You know, we have to work with our spirit. We have to develop an understanding. For example, I tell myself every day, I am the resurgence of life. You know, the words of Jesus. Jesus never said he was God's only son. Jesus said, I am what you all are as well. That's what he said. And what this was then turned into is disastrous. If the Holy Spirit was so poor that he was only or so, so bad that it was would only be able to create one perfect soul and millions of imperfect soul, that would be disastrous as a result, as a success story for the Holy Spirit. No, the Holy Spirit made us all perfect. We are all perfect. And that's what we have to see. That is enormously important. OK, like this. Huh? You can remain seated if you do it like this. Exactly. That's what happens if you don't really want to see what's happening next to you. To you. Yet another disaster, yet another war, yet another famine or pest, uh, yet another famine or plague. So we narrow our view. We only, you know, take your hands away. You broaden your view. And you can look to the left and to the right. You can look up and down. Now, all those things you get to see now. But of course, fear is dominant. As long as I make sure women and men are in a state of fear, I can keep them separate. But if a man overcomes his fear, if he's no longer afraid of being laughed at or being rejected, then the man can really feel his love for life, and he can stand here and find his brothers, like we are doing here, but also our sisters, and walk down that road together. But in order to do that, I have to master my spirit. If you choose a thought, like I am the light of the world, then this light will hit your aura field at light speed. It's um, transformed into electricity and then uh, enters your hydrophysis, the seventh sail, as it's called. If it's there transformed into frequency, then it goes to the lower um, brain, and then it will be conducted into all the cells of your body as electricity. That's why your body still consists mainly of water. Why is that so? Because water is able to transmit the frequency of the spirit best. And that's how your thought over a day or for a week or a year or throughout your entire life will either make you ill or happy. All our illnesses are somatized body, somatized soul. Once you've understood that, you will understand how important it is to have a pure heart and a pure mind. So you have to master your mind, you have to master your spirit. Make a movement like this, please, and close your eyes for a moment. You can hold your hands, stretch them out like this. Of course, the hands belong to the heart segment, as my beloved teacher, Jacques Rosenberg, used to say. Now think back to the day you were born, the day you still call your birthday, the day you still celebrate. Think of the day you were born. It's a sacred day, the day you were born. 
Without you, creation would be so much poorer. And then, keep your eyes closed and breathe in for a moment and lie yourself into your arms as a newborn child so that you feel yourself as a newborn baby lying in your own hands, a newborn little boy, a boy full of innocence. If we leave, if we ignore earlier lives, perhaps a little being full of innocence, full of love, full of life, it doesn't belong to any religion, any political direction, any dogma. All of this will only come much later, depending on the culture, continent, and society you grow up in. But still, you're the little boy, newborn, and now tenderly and carefully move your hands towards your heart, very closely, the hands towards the heart. So you can really press yourself, your newborn self, against your heart. That's a way to get in contact again and again um, to the innocence that we uh, that we have. Because for 2,000 years, we've heard the propaganda of guilt and sin. And we can hear that everywhere. But now you have the chance to get back to your innocence. Hold your innocent newborn self against your heart, but of course also against your cosmic heart. Because what the word cosmos means in German is, or in English, is order, structure. And it's important to get into this kind of order and structure again, to find your own center again. So hold your newborn self, your innocent self, against your heart once again. This um, newborn innocent self is not yet a Christian or atheist. And I honor the core or the heart of every religion as being love. But what I hate and what I reject is the dogma and the manipulation. So feel your innocence. Feel this innocent part of you, this chance to be reborn over and over again, this chance to forgive yourself and others, and to be light as a feather again. I mean, we all make mistakes. I make 10 or more mistakes every day, but we can forgive us. We can forgive others. We can take on responsibility and do it better. That's all. Guilt and sin is mere propaganda. Yes, and now briefly open your eyes again. And let's inhale this like that, the spirit. Und noch einmal. Jetzt steh auf, so wie du bist. Now you can stand up. Put one hand on your belly, the other on your heart. Feel the feet and how they are in contact with the ground. And for a moment, just for a moment, for one minute perhaps, so we can really benefit from each moment that we have together. For a moment, just feel how you're standing on the soil, on the ground, your contact with the ground, to the soil, to the earth. And then we have to make an Ooh, because the ooh stands for our firm position on the ground as the basis of our prosperity in our lives. and your testicles so that we also um, um, touch the prostate and the anus, the entire region of your pelvis full of love and then oh as an expression of blessedness. what makes sexuality so desirable to do, so desirable for us time and again. And then the testicles and the inside of your pelvis. 
A man can learn so much about sexuality. Mastering the spirit is what makes us the king of love. And the second thing that makes us the king of love is mastering our sexuality. Now hold one hand against the belly and the other against the heart. And then the noise is, ah, the sound of joy. Inhale deeply and then. cerebral cells that we have, because we have to awaken the sleeping parts of our brains, because as normal neurotic persons, we only use less than one half of the capacity of our brains. So we need to use the entire brain again. It has to sparkle and shine, because this will give us the capacity to solve problems anymore. And man will no longer be a destructor. We'll no longer be destructive like in the patriarchal times, but he will be a blessing factor a being that helps put into practice the great dream of liberty on Earth. E, the, as the sounds for the neuronal uh, connections. Wonderful. Thank you for going along with me that much. I'm sweating, but I am not afraid my deodorant might fail, might fail because I'm amongst brothers. And now let's get back to the man with whom you already did, Yakata. Now touch his heart. And if there's a new man in the room, please try to find a partner and touch his heart. Look him in the eye. Over millenniums, men have learned to judge each other. Who has the longer dick? Who is better? And all this nonsense. What we are doing here is we're becoming brothers again. The brotherhood, the noble male character, this needs to be strengthened. Now, in this moment, what is the biggest positive strength that you can live and use in your daily life? What is the strength that you take on responsibility for? Face it. What is your biggest strength, your biggest constructive uh, strength? My biggest constructive strength is I declared I'm in love. So what about you? What is your biggest strength? My biggest strength is. And then hear what the other one has to say about his biggest strength. Nice look into his eyes. Take him seriously in what he has just said. I had thousands of people that were my pupils. I have learned taking them seriously to confirm what is true and frank. We do not want to be judged and misjudged based on our past. We want to see the light of this world is standing in front of us. Our brother, a great, wonderful man that exists only once. Uh, and I learn all oh, a nobility, a noble mind uh, to see my brother, not to look after the ways in which I can destroy him, which is miserable. Love makes uh, everybody blossom. Now, front to front, uh, the old gesture to use our spirit, heart and spirit, soul, knowing that we come from one holy force of life and this is pervading us. Without this force, you could not say a single utterance, uh, substance, substare standing underneath something else. 
binding up again with the substance of life. Uh, this is freedom that does not belong to any religion or dogma or politics. This is eternal and this is sacred and this liberates us. Sense uh, the front of uh, the other, of uh, the, his body. He has similar needs uh, as you, being recognized at what he is. Every man knows this eternal battle. Am I good enough? Uh, uh, is my erection strong and long enough? Or if I an uh, early ejection? And uh, the old patriarchal rubbish of war. Instead of building something new, now thank him with love and tenderness. No matter how you want to touch him, look at his author, brother under the sun. The sun is our masculine sign. Love is what we need beyond energy, force, fire. We need love. Yeah, brother. Together we go the good path, brother under the sun. So turn once again towards his back. Lean against his back. Take his hands also so, so that we can strengthen our backs. My most important teachers, sadly enough, many of them have died and are dead now physically. Many things of what I am saying are common things. I experienced it together with my adored teachers, both male and female. So strengthen his back, lean against his back. So when he goes back, each and every one takes along so many gifts, strengthening one's back, belief, trust, and strength. Let go for one moment. Everybody knows uh, the tension in the body, uh, tension in the mind. You need to relax. My brother is standing behind me. What a good father needs to be so that I am there for my son until the last uh, breath, like uh, a good father. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wonderfully beautiful, 24,600 breath strokes, a breathing in and breathing out. Breathing is uh, the preferred way to the inner side. Stretch out your arms and breathe in, breathe out. Wonderful. And one last breath. Then close your eyes, stay as you are. Then think, having tied up a body and a breath, and now the spirit, what is the most loving and caring sentence uh, that you want to tell yourself an unlimited idea, unqualified? My phrase would be, I love you from the bottom of my heart. What is the most loving sentence that you are ready to give yourself? Then think this phrase, rethink it again and again with the soft breath. Atem comes from Vishwa. In Sanskrit, it means trusting without trust without this soft and gentle breathing we become crazy we will ever be mistrustful 
think of this soft idea that reminds you that you are a very precious and wonderful man and a huge cosmic being for a long time. You have been on your journey as a soul. My dear brother, watch as this wonderful idea spreads out in yourselves. And food, the real food is not uh, what you eat, but your thoughts and your f emotions. Well, of course, eating is important, but the most important thing is uh, the spirit. Think of the queen. Smile to yourself so that you have a breath, a clarity of ideas, a smile, orients it. The four holy bodies, earth, water, fire, and air, physical body, feeling body, ideal body, and the soul that binds everything together, even in those that claim to be atheists. Now, for one moment, as this whole man, lean body to body, body, soul, mind, spirit, earth and sky, rest in this unity. Now turn around, look once again into his eyes, look slowly, you can see. It is clear. Well, it's uh, sad that we stare only into our cell phones and look not at this divine spark, as Goethe put it. Uh, you, if you see this, we throw away our rifles because I see my brothers are standing in front of me. Then bring your hands together in front of your heart with a bow. Salute him. At all times, it has been the bow by which we demonstrated our respect. Even if I have a differing, totally differing view, I can bow down. Everything that misfires uh, is a lack of respect and awe. Please thank him so much. Sit down. Embrace him probably once again. We all need more hugs. Where is my time guard? My time guard. How much time is left? 47 minutes. Sounds good. Like half time in football. So, now look. Talking about football, those who know me, I uh, used to be and still am a passionate footballer. Robert Lewandowski, you, you know this, the spirit, the midfielder of Bayern Munich, uh, which is a sad thing because he used to play for Borussia Dortmund. Then there was this legendary match, Bayern playing Dortmund. The Dortmund Klopp still was the coach of Dortmund. It was the end game. Before that, there was Dortmund. Uh, Again, uh, playing Real for um, uh, I, uh, Real, Robert Lewandowski kicked uh, Real Madrid out of the half finals. We watched it in a pub where typical Berlin men were sitting, one white beer after the other. Then uh, we, uh, there was uh, the end game, Berlin, uh, nee, um, Dortmund playing Bayern. Uh, somebody with gla uh, glasses there looks Keule. That was guile, and being an old footballer, and as a swabe, that I am still cold. That was really cool. That was really cool. That's how we started our conversation. And he said, "It's so great that they are out." I said, "I, I am. Uh, it was great. I, I am enthralled. But afterwards, I need to go out into the nature. Coil, nature." I only believe what it uh, what is real. <laughs> then I looked of uh, the I said Koile. Do you know what real is? No. 
Tobias coin. And you could notice even underneath or behind this white beard, he became very awake. Ray comes from, from uh, the old, I'm a hippopotamus, I have to reattach. It comes from old Egyptian, Ray. It indicates the divine. Al is as old Egyptian uh, pervaded uh, by the divine. That means Real, the 15 seconds working on his uh, hard drive disk. Uh, next time when I buy goods from the grocery store called Real, I will be thinking of you. Coil. I think to you. So that's a very solidly grounded wisdom. That's the repertoire of every living man I know. I may discuss on and on for a hundred years, but I need to pick them up where they are when he went out. Koile, that has been a good conversation. And as a man, you are sky, spirit, and air. The woman is earth, fire, earth, fire, water, and moon. As a man, it's important to bring back our, to, to be the master of your spirit. Uh, the 3% of constructive ideas, you need to widen them, to expand them to at least 30, 40, 50%. If you don't do so, the body will always be tense. The spirit is always on the fly. We need to find, to learn how to find peace. Uh, uh, food belongs to, it's, it's a scandal that, uh, mo that uh, uh, most cancers uh, befall the prostate. Uh, why is that? Estrogen containing meat are is still eaten by men and other people. Uh, me, uh, Japanese men have much lower prostate cancer rates, uh, much, much lower. So we can learn so much about health, sexuality, about which, and the spirit as hell has uh, galled our life for so many, so many. Uh, centuries. Uh, some people from a side valley behind Jerusalem have invented the hell as uh, this forlorn kingdom and have terrorized generations and generations. Once we start understanding that spirit, that is idea or thought, when you think about creating, every man is a creator, every, every man will build the weapons or skyscrapers if they are not trained the right way of thinking because man is uh, spirit. The men must be ready to learn to become creative. We need to be masters of us, but it does not matter whether you think a hundred times. I am an asshole. I will end up under a bridge. Oh, look at myself. Nobody loves me. I'm not good enough. Man, this will enter your cells. That will unfold as a cancer. In no, at no school, at no university are we taught uh, the importance of becoming the master of your spirit. Uh, mastering your spirit means whenever an idea hits uh, your auratic field is uh, transformed into a vibration in frequencies. Spirit is transformed into um, into the hypothesis and then the lower uh, cortex. And when I learned about this, I was shaken for days and weeks. I observed my spirit for days and weeks. I said, ever since then, I keep saying I am the light of the world and I try to behave accordingly. Whenever I commit a mistake, I ask for a part and without this, you may do jogging and martial arts, or you may feed yourself on a vegan diet. It does not, but the body will follow the spirit. That's why it's so important to become the masters of the spirit. Either the spirit is full of fear, 
because if I'm afraid of you, I will judge you. You will remind me of my father or of a man that I happen to know. But when I follow love, then I will see it's my brother, and I'm happy to see him again. And if I follow love, even if you commit a mistake, give me the hand. Kalle, come here. What's your name? Alex, it's good to see you. Great to have you with us. However, when I am fearful, when I tell him how beautiful he is, he thinks I'm going to marry him. Now that's uh, the status of fear. You might have the right Apple iPhone or the right haircut, but you are full of fear. Therefore, it's so important as men, because in principle, we are spirit. We need to master our spirit. We started like this, these blindfolds when we say uh, this, these blinders, war belongs to life, war belongs to this world. Yes, separation is normal. And this entire garbage, uh, you won't believe it. Take out the blind blinders. I've traveled to 70 countries of this world. I've almost exclusively met with people who are very friendly. I claim that the majority of the mankind does not want any war any longer. When I was 14 years old, uh, over my bed, there was a post uh, with a soldier being shot in the back uh, with this question why uh, I had refused to do the military service at the Cypri Institute. And then Herbert Gruhl, a CDU member, um, wrote a book, This Planet is Being Plundered. Uh, I went to my father, who had been voted for the CDU, who was a master. Papa, he's for the first. Um, I love you, Herman. We don't need such a shit, Kali. Learn something, really, uh, and uh, work. Uh, then came the Greens and the Peace Movement and the women and the new men's movement to master the spirit, to fill it up with and to combine it with physical energy. Hold your both hands in front of you like this. This is the next step uh, that you understand, the right arm of the uh, stroke uh, uh, along those. Uh, this arm, think of the three most beautiful feelings that you can give yourself. Close your eyes. What are the three most beautiful emotions that relatively open? For example, I go every day into nature, into the calm, the rest. I learn from the trees, from the small animals. I express every day my love to those who are close to me. What are your three options with which you give yourself good feelings? Hold your eyes closed. Now stroke your, the other arm with an equally caring attitude. What are the feelings that create pain to you for some of us? Solitude. I have been a loner for all my life. That's why I make sure that nobody becomes an outsider, but everybody is an insider. Everybody belongs to the community as long as it is possible. Feel back also the painful emotions that you go through again and again, feeling excluded. Your wounded feelings sense them as clearly solitude of half my life. I was afraid of being rejected, but I was the one who had this fear and who enacted this again and again before I could heal it. What are your wounded feelings? The dark thoughts, uh, some of us have existential concerns, preoccupations with our health, fear of old age, sickness, and death, which is the main propaganda. The de death is nothing that we must be afraid of. Now bring back your hands towards your heart. Rest both hands. We are talking about the polar charging of emotions in a human life. Now put the good feelings into your heart, also the painful emotion. 
how often have I covered up my solitude? Everybody was so spittingly well, and now all this can be deposed in our heart, and we can love ourselves. L feel both poles. The Earth is a polar learning planet. You will always again wandering through the darkness of the night, but also over the tops of the mountains. We must and we can learn to cope with both sides. We are hearts. Heart is one, intellect is two. That's why so many of intellectuals are always torn back and forth. They might say, Frank is uh, great, but he is a crazy dog. Yes, I like it, but I also dislike. No, man, you need to learn to unify your spirit and to cope with polarity. Otherwise, you will not find peace. Now, place the two poles of reality as you live them, the painful and the happy one into your heart. Find peace for one moment. Breathe in and out gently through your mouth so that you hear your heart beat. Many thousands of times your heart will beat every day. It's so strong that it will never affect uh, cancer. Your heart must be the center so that your penis becomes an organ of your love. Uh, Everything in you lives in peace in this moment now. Under the sun of our being, man can relax. Everything we fear, everything that is wounded from mother and father can heal without any doubt. And everything that is already beautiful may become stronger so that we become a light that shines on the path of all those that we encounter. Feel your one heart that unites you with the one heart of love and life. If you have ever been sitting next to a dying spat, you know, in the end, there is only love, gratitude, and pardon if everything goes well. Otherwise, nothing will remain. Enjoy this option to be one in yourself, one breath that we share with all beings, one heart, your heart, my heart, and also the heart of our women, of our wives, children, our beloved brothers here. It's not romantic or bombastic. Now, without love, we stand no chance. We have enough knowledge. We have enough concepts, but too little love, too little of brotherlyhood and sisterlyhood, brotherhood, sisterhood. So feel once again the peace of your heart. You know as well as I know that you always do the best. Marsha Rosenberg taught me that in such a beautiful way. Behind every crazy behavior, there is also a good intention. We must be mindful of that. If we want to redeem uh, other human beings, uh, not to react to their idiotic form, but to see the light shining on their doorstep again and again. Or, uh, now, educational uh, humor. Try to hug yourself with uh, your hands so you keep yourself embraced tenderly, softly, very calm as you are on this day of your life and sense this, uh, this tenderness. You are the man of your life. You are an original being on earth. And in the cosmos, you are the creation. You embellish the creation, if we may use this word for once. The love for yourself, and that's the crime that so many ideologies have committed to, to damage, to cripple human beings in their self-esteem by submitting them through the sense of guilt or to burn them on the stakes. Feel the steep 
peace with yourself, the peace that you can expand to everybody else in this room and in this wonderful city of Berlin, the option that uh, we men may be a blessing, peace and well-being for the others. Find your soft breath. That is a Vishnu. In old times, that was the breath that overcame separation. Separation, the split is the wound between men and men, between men and women, between women and women, religion and politics. You see separation everywhere. Our response to this is love and the readiness to heal, to bless, to unite. Let us now sing a chant uh, for the big force, uh, for the boy in each of I am a boy, of uh, sun, moon, and stars. I am a child of sky and earth, that, and a child of, uh, and uh, to uh, freely after, I am a kind. Erde. Ich bin ein Kind des Lichtes und der Liebe. Ich werde, ich werde, ich werde, ich werde, was ich bin. Ich werde, ich werde, ich werde, ich werde, was ich bin. Für den kleinen Jungen, den Jugendlichen in dir. Ich bin ein Kind von Sonne, Mond und Sterne. Ich bin ein Kind des Himmels und der Erde. Ich bin ein Kind des Lichtes und der Liebe. Ich werde, ich werde, ich werde, ich werde, was ich bin. Ich werde, ich werde, ich werde, ich werde, was ich bin. Und noch einmal. Ich bin ein Kind von Sonne, Mond und Sterne. Ich bin ein Kind des Himmels und der Erde. Ich bin ein Kind des Lichtes und der Liebe. Ich werde, ich werde, ich werde, ich werde, was ich bin. Ich werde, ich werde, ich werde, ich werde, was ich bin. Und so halte dich noch einen Moment. So you can hold yourself in your arms a bit longer with your eyes closed. I'm becoming, I'm becoming, I'm becoming what I am. We say somebody develops, and that's exactly what the internal journey is all about. It's about development. It's about liberating yourself from all the rubbish of your culture and civilization. I reject manipulation. I honor what is good, and I am part of that. I'm becoming, I'm becoming, I'm becoming the man of my life, the loving man that I am. And that's why I love male evolution so much with John and all the others. What you are doing here is so precious, so valuable. Your message and the message um, really goes out to all the men in the world. We are loving men. We stand for a connection between men. And we also honor our women who have their own conferences as well in all parts of the world to fight and stand up for our planet, but also for our children and for our animals who have to, have to suffer in slaughterhouses. So just a bit more time, one more moment to sense this possibility again inside of you, this possibility to stand for peace and home and love, to get out of your hamster wheel and to say, yes, I am the man of my life. Every day is precious. Every moment is a chance to be a wise man. I dyed my hair for so many years out of vanity, and the day I stopped that was a good day. And quite frankly, um, they used to have uh, part-time workers at the Vela company, but they corrected that now. OK, open your eyes again. You can stand up. Find your partner again, so you have 
the point of reference and reference and anchorage. So you're standing opposite each other. Beloved guardian of time, how much more time does Frank have? 25 minutes, okay. So you're standing there opposite your partner. And again, a breathing exercise, the second one. This is a recharging exercise. Um, you can also find it on YouTube, by the way. So you're breathing in. You move your pelvis backwards and you hold your hands up in the air. You breathe in through the mouth and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Once again. Hold on, just a moment. Keep your hands high up in the air as high as possible. Look into his eyes. Very good. Feel your breath. And now a bit faster, you know, like um, a bit faster, like when you're driving a car a bit faster. Look him in the eye and go on. Ha. up in the air and now it's going to be very fast like a fourth gear in the car but without any noises just very fast very fast ha, ha, ha. like that Stop. very good now your hands, your palms can touch and you look him in the eye and let's honor our life energy and we'll soon go on with even more energy. Look him in the eye and honor your brother. All the nonsense they've taught us about judging each other and trying to find negative things. No, I love men. Every man I see in the street I look at with different eyes because every man is my brother and that's what we have to learn again. Stay with him. Hold your hands up high. Julius, where are you? Come over here, fast. We'd like to demonstrate something here on stage. So hold his hands. Just see how beautiful it looks. It's a brotherhood of man, of men we can see here. Now, Julius, come here on stage. This is just a little exercise we would like to demonstrate, an exercise to test the statics of this building. So the fingers can touch, can be intertwined now as well, so that we really feel each other's strength. It was so great, you know, when you came to me as a young guy back then. So, have a look at this. We're going to jump like this. Not yet. Not yet. Listen. And then you put your right foot to the front, your right foot to the front. And on the level of the navel, we are going to get the force back with a ha. And look him in the eye. That was great, and my headset tells me. Oh, it's still working, okay. Um, so that was great. And now the solar plexus, that's how the dancers invented cha-cha. Have a look at this. My right hand to your solar plexus and yours to mine. Cha, 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 cha. Hey, 
Okay, jetzt! Great, and now the last little thing. Our hands to our hearts, because now comes the blessing. And that's the most important thing that men have to relearn. We have to learn how to bless. A king can bless. A king can bless his brothers and women and men and children. A loving, good king can bless. He doesn't need to destroy, to break. And that's the blessing of the heart. You put your hand to your heart, and then we all will just like in the ancient times of Buddha and Master Jesus, we all would spread our arms and stand like this for a while with an open heart. And this gesture embodies the two important uh, structures of the universe, the vertical, which means I am, and the horizontal means I want what is good for me and the earth. That is the ethics that we as men have to learn again. And then gradually, at your own pace, Move your hands back to your heart and look in his eyes. Again, the heart and the heart, the soul and the soul, the brother and the brother. And three times, very slowly, like the sun uh, emanating from our hearts, the blessing that says, brother, we have killed each other long enough for some ideology, some religion. That time is over. We recognize each other, brother, and we love and honor the holy masculinity and femininity on the earth, the femininity that has given birth to us and why we are here. And the third movement, the third gesture, again, very slowly, but at your own pace, that makes you understand that your blessing makes this life more beautiful. Your respect for love and life makes this earth more beautiful. Look him in the eye with your love, brother. So he remembers, so that he is reminded that he is the light of the world, just as you are. Three slow gestures. I did very bad in school at maths, very, very bad. So if you like, you can also make four gestures. And then touch your heart again. And you can bow to the king inside of you. You can bow to the true man who does what needs to be done, who heals what needs to be healed. And we have a thousand good methods to do so. Um, hug him again. Hug your brother. And you can also give him a good clap on the back. We men, we like to clap, don't we? Set sich dann wieder an. Now sit down, sit down for a little while. Now. Look at me. How much time is left? Uh, guardian, I love you. 16, can you hear me? Now, watch out. Now, we said, yes, of course, we need the body practice. Many of us do physical exercises, martial arts, yoga, or whatever. The male body needs practice or exercise. I was talking about how to become a master of your spirit, the polarity. Both the wounded and the healthy feelings need to be united in your heart. And then you need soul. Soul for most men. Under the conditioning of our culture is something for the death uh, and so uh, his soul parted ways with us the boss well he has got a soul well uh, during the co uh, balance uh, press conference uh, the, there was no soul visible that's uh, really the inner metal of a man's life. You need to give space to your soul. When I was 33, I will die of AIDS. Fre Freddie Mercury, Rock Hudson had died of AIDS. That, those were after separation. I, I had uh, fucked so much in a brothel without a condom. And, uh, my doctor told me, Mr. Fees, you have got a gonorrhea. Then he said, gonorrhea cannot shock me. And he looked at me. 
well, you know, what, what about HIV? Then I got to my mind, I, the teacher of sexuality that I had been, HIV test took three months. Uh, those three months, every week, and so many people arrived at my doorsteps, and I was flooded by hundreds and hundreds of ideas of time. Although I had left the Lutheran church, I learned how to pray. I found back Jesus as a, uh, you, a great teacher, and I learned again how to honor every individual being in the Protestant and the Lutheran church. Then the outcome of the HIV, uh, you are a hero, I know it. The HIV test result was presented to me. I entered the doctor's office. I almost shit myself. My prayer was, if you are HIV positive, to the last breath you will fight uh, for the love for Earth. And when the HIV test uh, came up in negative, I knelt down on my knees. And in this confrontation with uh, death, I learned how to pray. Ora et labora. Pray and work. Labora contains also pray. That's the last point I want to address. If you understand how precious your life is as a human being every day, if you understand how much you can do with the forces of your spirit, your soul, and your body, how powerful you are as a being, you will understand how much good you can do. In the small, there is a, one of my neighbors, Miss Camera. First, her husband died, then her dog died. Now she's so alone. Every four weeks, uh, a voice in myself comes of buy uh, flowers for Miss Camera. Uh, the skeptic in myself said, uh, save your money. Then. And she opened her door. Miss Camera, for but that's not unnecessary. That would not have been necessary. I have been doing so for three years today. When I come, she does no longer cry. She tells me, it's so good that you see me, that you give me your love as a man. You are not proud, not arrogant. Uh, I am better than you. I know more than you. I have the longer prick. I have, I have the better teacher. A, being a loving man, as I used to say, Miss Camera, I love you as you are. You are as you are a great woman. She cries. She wells up again, although I don't want her to. Today is the birthday of the Ufa Fabrik, the film studios. The Ufa Fabrik, 40 years um, ago, that was an orphan. Uh, Yupi and all the others went to the Ufa Fabrik for 40 years. They have set up a wonderful community. As men, we are creators. Where is John? John, stand up. Oh. Please, everybody, rise to your feet that belong to the male evolution team. I can tell you one thing, man. I have worked with so many men and women, but what you perform is great. Thank you. And at the end of my modest contribution, I just want to tell you, no matter which religion or whether you are the follower of atheism, 
everything you do here upon this earth follow certain laws, whether you believe it or not. Experiments uh, were carried out with prisoners in the dark rooms. They were locked in without any conduct. After a few weeks, they created their own monsters and they ran away from them. Your spirit creates your own reality, what you believe in. That's how you condition yourself. In the end, you will believe in that. That's why becoming a master of your spirit, that you can live the open sky as your home and the holy and loved earth. Your spirit may be intoxicated by propaganda, by division, by projection, by destruction and separation. To unite your spirit in one love and the holy energy of life that makes us into dignified, proud men. And these seven main principles and laws that I follow in my life and also with my son and the people, my wife Marion and all the others, my friends Christoph, Udo, Eric and all the others is the following. The first law in everything liveth spirit, even in Donald Trump, the spirit lives, even in Saddam Hussein, uh, spirit lived. Uh, communication is never for nothing. In every being there are certain vibes, uh, certain beings. Communication is never uh, lost. I knew people that filled with hatred against father, but some of them succeeded in achieving pardon. Do not relate to the dead outward appearance. Look into the spark in these eyes. That spirit, that's the hope of this earth. When we say enough war, stop the war, we are no longer willing to do that. Uh, I went to a demonstration of, of Friday's profession. I was in the peace movement, in the anti-nuclear movement. I was in the Berlin occupying scene. Again, we have the same swinery that's criminal, no affordable rents. Then I participated in this demonstration. There was a boy, 12 years old probably, he had a poster. Club of Rome, Cypri, my love for earth and peace. And on this poster there was written, we have just one earth. And I cried out in tears because I'm the, we ha have given them only video games and they, uh, the, we thought that uh, they are no longer willing to uh, fight for something. Greta Thunberg, when Mr. Lindner says they go on strike in holidays. It is as if the engine drivers went on strike during their holidays. Now, this love for Earth, for human beings, uh, that's uh, the highest value in everything. There is a living spirit. The second is everything is vibration. If we connect to each other, we do this through vibration. The third law is cause and effect and possibility as a man. Every moment you set a certain cause, uh, your ideas, your feelings, the way you behave, you are a creator of your own reality together with all the humans. The human race, you create the collective reality here on Earth. Right now, so much is at stake, hundreds of millions of men and women are no longer willing to destroy the earth to get arms for war that we pay with our tax money and they say stop fuck you that's the third law that we need to understand you are a, a powerful being that are causes therefore I salute uh, strangers on the street I show my love uh, certain people laugh out in Others repeat, do we know each other? And others, do you want a washing machine to me? I said, no, I love human beings. And he looks back at me. After three seconds, oh, now I see. Man, that our brains, our love, our sense of humor is used to break the ice and say, 
Well, we treat the same earth, we breathe in the same air. It's good to push aside religion, apart from the heart of love, to change politics with the energy of separation. Brothers, sisters, one earth, one mankind, one love. That's the law of cause, effect, and possibility. You need to understand, at any given moment you create your reality, we went here, son, good that you are still sitting here, as I see. It sounds quite reasonable what your dad is doing. And it is an honor that you are here. Well, it started out like this. Now you are taller than I. In the beginning, it was difficult because uh, my dad was like my like this one, and my own son approaches me today. I love your size, both internal and physical. Thank you. And the fifth law is polarity. Those of us who ever had success uh, last year, my former disciple and now friend, Fayed Lindlau, when he was sitting 25 years ago in front of me, nobody knew Fayed Lindau, the today so famous teacher, Fayed Lindau. If you are very high up on the highest ring of the ladder, then you will also know how to go down three rungs. So we need to learn also to walk through the dark nights of our soul, my addictions. Look at this. my grandfather on my father's side in 1940 was, uh, well, the Ortskopen leiter, the National Socialist uh, came to my gra uh, grandfather. Look at this. Uh, this field there will belong from now on to the NSDAP. This has been to the fees, uh, which means feed this field with stabilizers. One week later, he had been sent to the Eastern Front. Nine years later, he came back. He weighed just 38 kilograms. He bore this wrath, and he inherited this uh, to my father. Uh, when I turned a hippie at the age of 13, and with, when I did not uh, take over, did not want to take over my father's company, I got uh, beaten for four years. I know what it means, being afraid of dying. The, the last uh, two years, we healed everything. He could die in peace, and I'm carrying him now as a good father in my heart. My father was an alcoholic because he could never feel, because the men worked like pigs. His dream was to become a self-employed man. He worked 70, 80 hours per week. We can learn how to, they, they drank 20 bottles uh, of beer at, on the construction site and two bottles of wine afterwards and then uh, a, a package of uh, cigarettes. And then he resorted to violence before you. I, I, um, I drank uh, two bottles of fresh and my then wife said, Frank, well, it becomes uh, too much with the champagne. I said, I am a writer. It, it makes me creative. When you were born at that moment, I swore myself. Uh, no drop of alcohol would ever move over these lips. You will never be beaten. You will never feel the, uh, the, the injustice of my wrath. Since your birth, no drop of alcohol has ever gone over these lips. This, as loving men, we need to be able to break through our patterns, whether we go to the brothers, whether we start so many affairs uh, because we are hooked up with sex. For the force of a man, it's the crucial that uh, you counter your own addictions and dependencies, not to 
pass a judgment that you are a great man, a human being, a cosmic being. Life has a place, the fullest force of life, uh, the spirit of wisdom, the light of an eternal soul to break through our patterns. So we become ethical men. I can finger point Putin, Trump, Erdogan, Duterte on the Philippines. I can point my finger at everybody, but the principle of war is also in me. If you wound me, I'm also conditioned to kick you on your shin. And that's, of course, for self-assertion important. But at a deep level, we need to learn not to kick back. But as an old farmer's son, we need to make this into a fertilizer. All this mud must become a fertilizer that gives blessing over our life. And the last two laws, yin and yang, of course, rest one hand on your heart and the other one on your beloved penis. We could not talk about sexuality. I will have to come once again. How could this happen to me, sexuality? How? So, oh, close your eyes for a moment. These two beings, uh, your male heart, your human heart, and your lingam, as we say in tantrum, uh, the beacon of light, your cock, your penis, and let them live as they are. I have become acquainted with so many gay men in my work. I love men, gay men, for what they are. I honor it. I have become acquainted with so many gay men. I love you for your, or your noble way of existence, how you look. It's one brotherhood, one male energy on the earth. And we need a heart that embraces every man as brother. We need to understand. Uh, uh, lingam in Sanskrit, uh, our cock. This means uh, to be able to uh, fuck with our gland and our awareness, our heart must be brought into the lingam. Not just fuck. Fucking is good if the two want it, but sooner or later you will feel void. Sooner or later. It's also about soul, about love, about the awareness in our penis, in our heart. So be blessed, your entire pelvis, your two, the gland, the tip of the gland, the margin of your gland. The, uh, also the testicles and uh, the side testicles and the prostate it, over to the an anus uh, uh, throughout the space of your pelvis. Uh, light, blessing, life. Beautiful, your entire penis. Uh, so uh, the way I am, I am loved, I am accepted, no erection. No erection, full erection, anything in between, being accepted, being loved. And the same is true for our heart. Uh, if we had more time, we could talk about the patriarchy atrocities by which a man has learned to close his wounded heart. We could reinforce ourselves in the emotional healing that every man needs here on this earth. Uh, that I do not pass on my wounded feelings such as violence experiences to the next generation, but we turn it into inner gold in our penis where every man is young, giving blessing, our force, our semen also. We want to be love. We are love. We are awareness, consciousness. We can unite in love, being one in the penis and in the heart. And for a moment, unite the two beings in you. This ancient primordial bridge, every woman of uh, this earth wants to give with her breasts uh, and with her body. Um, women represents this principle. Men, man is yin. I, every man of this earth wants to receive, even if he is gay, receive with his heart uh, the love on, of his uh, beloved one. 
every man of this earth wants to give with his penis. <laughs> we need this with young energy. Sex is a good idea. Yes, we need awareness, love, and so much wisdom, competence, and wisdom. Every woman of this earth has a holy place. Every yoni is a holy space from which we have uh, come forth. We can learn so much of the erogenous zones, the meridians, the ref reflective zones. Ooh, ancient wisdom, Taoist, tantric. Wow. I uh, am full of awe and respect for this. I learned so much about the body of our women to learn as much as possible so that love may succeed. I tell this, oh, my beloved wife, Maria, with who I can live all those things that love really means. Now, for one moment, let a deep blessing pervade your heart, your penis, and also the prostate. You can keep your prostate healthy by a different diet and by many messages also of the anus, and by so much of inner meditation and healing work. Now let us move on with the breathing that we started out, uh, 10 strokes of breath from the heart, from for your heart. You are a king and God. And once again, smile for a moment into your heart. Your jaws and your heart are like sisters. Uh, on all my journeys around this world, I've met with so many poor people in, on all continents that have given me refuge, a chamber, a bed. And that's why I love mankind. I love the mankind, and I believe in it. And to that end, we need a good uh, now, 10 breath strokes for our lingam, our penis, into our pelvis. And one again. Hold still the two beings. The receiving pole of love, the heart, where the woman is a giving, and the giving pole, your penis, where the woman is receiving. That's the, the seventh cosmic law of yin and yang. Even in the most male thing, you find the female. In the most female, you find the male. In the most fragile, you find the strongest, the most passionate. In the most ferocious, you find also the softest and the most tender element. Now, while you are still holding the two creatures, now hold your loving idea that blesses your being a man in your breath, a loving thought about yourself that reminds you that, uh, that you are the man of your life, my brother. A loving, blessing thought to which you lend your breath, a smile, because then everything falls into place. Um, Feeling is a chalice, while water is the feeling. What you really want is the feeling. If you learn how to bring your uh, thoughts into each seal, then you are happy. That's uh, the uh, merit or the, what you deserve uh, during a lifetime. If you want to embody this force, you need to open up your entire feeling. Deep, being uh, captured by everything you believe in what you believe in. This will make you strong. You need spirit. Uh, mere spirit is only intellect. You, you need spirit feeling. United with physical energy and the a soul's force. That's what makes up a man's force. That's the force that calls you to be the man of your life, my brother.
smile once again into your heart, into your pelvis, once again into your entire body, which is, of course, your real church, your synagogue, your temple. I love that about the old teachings of wisdom, that they teach us not to condemn the body, to link it. No, the body is the temple of the soul and will stay so as long as human beings uh, are on this world. Feel the peace inside you, the calm, uh, the two beings uh, that you follow, the heart and your penis. If you are present in both of them, not in the flying saucer of your judgmental brain, but your intuitive being. If you, once you learn to tell him, shut up, now it's the time of the heart that needs to speak. Rest for one moment uh, in this love for the man of your life, for you. I have worked with thousands of men and women. I've seen all their fears, their nakedness, their desperation, and all their beauty, which has made me into a loving man. I've seen their desperation. I know my desperation. That's why I believe in brotherhood, in sisterhood, in the human tribe. I wish you that everything that is so important and crucial that you have taken away, are taking away from the male evolution, that you protect it as a treasure, that you leave behind old addictions. I'm praying so that you can do that. It has been an honor for me to help you along, to give you a little piece of all what I could learn to my very last breath. I will be a teaching and loving man for the men, for the women, the children, the animals, the birds, the trees, uh, and the plants. Thank you. Now you can open your eyes and clap your hands.